What's the worst that you ever dunked on somebody? The worst. Because I know you got one, you got a poster, you got some posters. Oh, yeah. I think I got Birdman my first year in Golden State. Yeah, he was trying to come from back he behind. Loved, he loved being dunk bait, don't he? <laughs> Yeah. Move, I got him. <laughs> right. <laughs> he go after everything, so it's you easy to dunk on those attitude, dudes. But, but the end result is your ass got smashed on. Yo, for sure. Has it ever happened to you? Because I've been dunked on before. Oh, yeah. I've been dunked on plenty of times. For real? Yeah. What was the worst one? The worst one probably was, man, I don't like telling this story because <laughs> everybody going to laugh at this I'm one. pulling the footage up, nigga, as soon as you finish. No, there's no footage of it. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> it happened in the preseason, my first year against the Lakers. Mm. And I'll tell you this name, you're probably going to laugh. Smush Parker dunked on me. <laughs> Number one? Yeah. Okay. Let's fire it up around this mug one time. If you don't know, you won't know. You inside the show. What well, we do the most on the coast. And here's a toast to the boogie. I'm your host, Finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes, and you inside the GGN News Network. And today on my show, I got a real special guest of mine. You know what I'm talking about? NBA baller, Mr. Darrell Wright in the house. At D Wright Way 1. That's what you at? Yeah, that's me on Twitter right there. Get your following up, huh? Yes, sir. How many followers you got right now? I think I'm like at uh, 102,000. Oh, we got to get you to 500,000, nephew. <laughs> Real that's, talk. That's unacceptable. We got to get you up to 500. I got you back. We need 500,000 people to follow my nephew right here because he goes bodyguard hard. If you don't know, he came straight out of high school to the Miami Heat in 2004. Then he won a championship in 2006. How, 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 how was it as a kid playing basketball in your community? Did you know we, that you was one of the elite players that you have to battle against a lot of bad motherfuckers? No, I had no idea. I'm one of them dudes that you call a late bloomer. You know, I played baseball my whole life. Uh, got to high school and I was able to, you know, uh, make a name for myself. So I left baseball alone, ended up picking up basketball. You know, me, I had to work extra harder because I was an underdog. You know, nobody knew who I was. So I worked my butt off. So you was the runt. Yeah. Like I was. Yep. You know, yeah, know. <laughs> you know niggas didn't want to give me nothing to eat. They didn't want to get, I had to just take whatever they gave me yep. when I, I made the most of it. Right, right, right. So you was one of the last players to come out of high school. Yeah, I think I'm like the second, like, I think the you end may right be there. the last motherfucker to come out because that other nigga ain't playing no more. <laughs> so <laughs> we going to keep it 100. <laughs> If your ass ain't in the league, nigga, you don't even matter no more. Right, right, right. No but doubt. That's, they stopped that, right? They mm -hmm. stopped that like maybe a year after you and said that you have to go to college for at least a year or go overseas or something. I don't, what, what was the requirement? Do you know? Um, you got to be one year removed out of high school or 19. That's the only way you can uh, qualify to get drafted now. Oh, your age? Yeah. Okay, so the guys that go to prep school don't have no problem because a lot of those guys well, are old. Well, no, no, those dudes still, that's still considered high school now. So for they real? still got to be, yeah, they got to be one year removed out of, out oh, of so high school Oh, so you got to be out of high school yep. for at least a whole year. Yep, or 19 years old. What about uh, your three-point shooting? Did you pick it up in, in high school? Did you pick it up in college? I mean, I mean, uh, when you first came in the league, uh, what, where did that come? I was more of like an athletic player than one year in Miami I got hurt. I had, tore my knee up. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you get hurt, man, you got to find another way to be affected out there on the court. So, uh, you know, I had the opportunity, you know, get a lot of good, good work in, you know, as far as my shot. And now, you know, I'm considered more of a three-point shooter yeah, now. Yeah, you is. Nigga. You, set the, you set the warrior record for yeah. most three-pointers in 2011 and most three-point field goal attempts. Yeah. Is, is that still around or did Steph Curry Oh, no. That? Steph Curry demolished that. Because I'm like, that nigga right there. Yeah, he demolished he just, that. Good. Good. Uh -huh. Good. It, what is this shot? The nigga don't even aim at the basket. I don't know, man, how, how he does it. I, I call him video game. He's the Xbox controller. X, X I loved him at Davidson, right? Right. But I didn't think he was that good. But when I see him in the NBA, he bad. What, what do you listen to before the games? Because Metal War of Peace said he listened to rap. Now, he can't listen to rap. He listened to, um, like, music from the 1920s because he said rap get him a lot of technical files <laughs> and getting pumped up. So. <laughs> what do you listen to before? Yeah, you I, I don't get that hype. I get hype, but you know, I'm we're, I'm real West Coast. I like you know problems, YG. Mm -hmm. uh, who else I listen to? Uh, Wiz. I like Wiz a lot. Yeah, Wiz go hard. So yeah, I I, I I choose different you know each game and stuff like that. But a lot of West Coast music. Who was your favorite player of all time? Favorite player of all time, definitely MJ for sure. You Michael know? Jordan. That's Michael the Jordan. area you grew up. Did you ever see Magic Johnson play? No, nah, I never got a chance see, to see why, Magic that's play. That's what it is. See, yeah. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all didn't get a chance. <laughs> Y'all television wasn't tuned in to right, K. Right. Cal 
when Chick Hearn was announced and then Stu Lance. Uh -huh. See, this real shit right here, man. These niggas was, if you want to see some real basketball, this nigga Magic, Le what LeBron doing? Right. Magic did in 19, 1980. The nigga Kareem went down, broke his shit. Magic played center, jumped against Caldwell Jones, played power forward, played point guard, played small forward and shooting guard that game, and scored 42 points. Like 18 assists, blase, blah, and won the championship. Wow. That's basketball. Yeah. Fresh out of college. Oh, just won, first year. Just beat Michigan, just beat Larry Bird and them in the Woo Wop, get drafted by the Lakers, go to the championship, and win it his first year in Philadelphia against Dr. J and them. That's tough. So who is your who who tougher to check for you? Kobe, Ooh. Carmelo, Durant, or LeBron? I'm gonna have to go with Melo. Melo? Melo. Yeah, a lot of people sleep on Melo because he's stronger than everybody and he's quick. So if you get too close up on him, he gonna go by you. If you're not close enough, he gonna shoot that jumper. Mm -hmm. So Melo and KD, those two, they, they very tough to guard. So basically you saying you can handle Kobe and LeBron. No, I'm not saying I can yeah, handle, yeah, I can did, go out nigga, there and you compete. Just said, yeah, nigga, you said it. <laughs> GGN, I just recorded, the nigga said it. He said uh, that nigga, y'all not hard to stick. He said Melo, then KD, then he said you other niggas, all right. <laughs> they gonna be at me next year, man. It's all good. <laughs> That's only gonna make you work, baby. That's it. We gonna make you work around here, man. Chicago is cold, but it's very rainy. But I like to be wet because being wet is fun. I'm just babbling. Just crawl around on the bear skin and rug and just be in front of the fireplace. But one time I was in the fireplace and then my hair got set on fire. It got really popular with like a bald head for a while. But then I just decided like, okay, maybe I should just get a wig instead. But sometimes it would just come off when I have sex. But you know, shit happens. <laughs> So after y'all won that championship, you went to the White House, right? Did you go with him? Yeah, that was crazy. Who was the president? Was it Obama or the that, other That was uh, Bush. Bush was the president. Fuck all that shit. I don't even want to hear about it. Man. Next question. Fuck about that nigga. Did you steal something I used there? No, I ain't stealing that. <laughs> nigga, shit. shit. <laughs> fuck that. I would have stole something, nigga. Uh, can I use the bathroom? <laughs> nigga, soap. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. Oh. Fuck this nigga. That's you, gotta, nigga, you take a nigga like me next time with you, D-Right. I'll right. show you how to do it, nigga. For sure, I got you. Would you ever think about coming to L.A. to play basketball, whether it's the Clippers or the Lakers? Yeah, no doubt. I think, you know, that, that, that's how every player want to end their career at some point or, you know, sometime in their career, you know, coming home, mm -hmm. playing for the home team. You know, I grew up being a Laker fan and, uh, you know, it would be great, you know, if I had the opportunity to come back to play for one of the teams. You know, I think that would be a lot of love. You know, the city would be happy, I think. So, mm -hmm. we'll yeah, see. We would love for you to come on back home and, yeah. you know, do your thing out here with us. I'm going to ask you this question. Who would win? Out of the 1992 Dream Team versus 2012 Dream Team. 1992 Dream Team, all day. Think so? Yeah, I think so. Why? Because you know these young niggas from the 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Who talked the most trash? Ooh, I played. I played with GP for some years. Oh, you played with Gary Payton? Yeah, I played with GP. Oh, he's the one. Oh yeah, for sure. He got he that. He talk mess on the dominoes. <laughs> oh, everything. <and> everything <laughs> he do. Yeah, GP. He running away with that one. He got that one. Hands down? Hands down. You know he banged on Jordan back in the day. Still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I, we I, seen his mouth like, you <laughs> bitch ass motherfucker. Like, damn, he said that? Yeah, GP don't care. He gonna say well, how he He said that feel. to Jordan when Jordan was the man. Yeah. And locked him up, too, like, the glove. <laughs> Real spit. That's my homeboy. Shout out to GP with yes, the 2-0. He going to the Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, dubs up. What up, guy? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. What, uh, what's your all-time starting five? All time starting five. Ooh, that's tough there. I go with Magic at the one. You got to do that. Mike at the two. Hello. Uh, I go with LeBron at the three. In, in a real way. Mm -hmm. uh, the four man, I'm going to have to go with Duncan. Yeah. He's still out there doing it. And five, Shaq Diesel for sure. That's a monster lineup, but I think my five will tear them, tear them niggas up. Yeah, who your five? I'm going to come with, at the point, I'm going to go get uh, who I like at the point. I'm going to get my main man, Pistol Pete Maravich. Ooh, okay. Then at the two, I'm getting Jelly Bean Bryant. 
At the three, I'm going real big. I'm going Kareem. Ooh. <laughs> At the four, I'm going Wilt. Okay. At the five, Moses Malone. Oh yeah, I might be in trouble right I'm there. I'm going big. <laughs> I might be in trouble. I'm going big. I might be in trouble right there. I'm going big. <laughs> I got this thing on my show called Everyday People. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. You can ask them how you feel. Okay. What's the first thing you do or the first thing you think when you wake up? Man, I got 10 more minutes to get up before I get to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you on your 10 minute back to sleep. Yeah, back run. to sleep. <laughs> What's, what's, uh, do you usually fill your gas tank up all the way or do you ride around on E? No, I, I gotta be full, filled Come up. Come on, man, quit lying, nigga. No. You know, you probably on E right now. And you know what I am on E yeah, right you now. You don't lie, nigga, tell the truth. <laughs> but no, I'm going to the gas station as soon as I leave here, but I'm, uh, I'm usually on E. See? I mean, uh, full. Yeah, you usually, I'm usually on, on E, full. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what's your favorite, all-time favorite pair of shoes? Uh, the Jordan 3s. I like every single color. Jordan 3s, red, white, and black? Uh, he's right here. I like okay, the true yeah, blues. They, yeah. These are the original ones right here. Okay. But I like these right here. This is my favorite one. You wear it with sweats, jeans, whatever. Them the third pair that he came out with? Yep, third year. <clears throat> Who are some of your influences? Man, uh, my parents, for sure. Uh, Lonzo Morning, you know, who was a teammate of mine. I looked up to him a lot. Uh, probably I go with them, them three. I like Zo. Yeah. Zo was all right with me, man. Yeah. I liked him when he was in uh, Charlotte. And then he was in Miami. He, I remember he had a fight with somebody, with Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson, nobody hit anything. Them niggas was just swinging that air. <laughs> like, they love each other. There ain't nobody oh, yeah. hit nobody. Nobody hit nobody. <laughs> nigga slap boxing. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he ain't ball his fist up. He was swinging like this. Like, that's when you know you ain't trying to hurt a nigga. You swing, right. swinging like this. I'm like, nigga, ain't nobody going to do this? Nah. You ain't never had no conflicts on the basketball court. I like that, right? Nah, nothing. Good guy. That's how it's supposed to be. You yeah. want your commissioner? to love you in his last year, because David Stern, old ass is out of here. We finna get a new commissioner, <laughs> so we wanna go out with a bag. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Commissioner, you fucked off our trade with the Lakers. I gotta say that, I always say that, because I mean that. We were supposed to get Chris Paul and get motherfucking uh, Paul Gasol, bitch ass out of here. We were supposed to, Lamar was supposed to still be here, but y'all heard his feelings when y'all oh, traded no. him and he read about it and he went home and his girl told him, they don't want you anyway, they traded you. Soft ass shit. Get it together. The NBA, niggas ball all the time. In a real way, you know you at, you inside the GGN News Network with your host, Finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Host, and we up out of this bitch. Church, preach, tabernacle.